Okay, we're here in front of the gate. We've been here like all day, dude, like from noon, you know? So we got hardcore people here, man. We're live, live on the internet. Show us your sign. Show us your sign. You're live. Aloha. <laughs> from Aubrey Marie. We've been here all day from noon. Community water. You gotta make sure everybody stays alive. Staying hydrated. Some passing cars here. We've actually been getting very good uh, response from the local. Music man, Angelo. <laughs> Show us your sign, you're live on the internet. This is the one that only drones can read. <laughs> but it's good, it shows a revolving door between huge multinational corporations and the federal government. <laughs> Taylor was just appointed by Obama. Michael Taylor just appointed by Obama to be FDA commissioner, formerly the and vice president was, of public policy for Monsanto. We have uh, actually a lot of high content signs. It all goes back to the 1940s, uh, the so-called Green Revolution. It's a terrible name for what's actually taking place. The Green Revolution is nothing more than the industrialization of agriculture, which depends on pesticides, which poisons the land and people. And really, this is what it comes down to. If you want to know why we have GMOs, it's because the model of the industrial agriculture is based on monocultures, thousands of acres of one crop. One Just crop. behind the we have 2,100 acres of corn, of GMO corn. And what that leads to is, well, you have a lot of acreage of one type of plant. Well, a certain pest is going to like that plant. You just created a pest buffet. So you need some pesticides to get that pest out of there. The problem with that is over time, the pests develop resistance. So you either need more pesticides or right. you go to the GMO. Yep. And that's really what it comes down to. Yep. know um, that uh, Pioneer is back here and what GMOs are about, but uh, some people don't. In fact, a lot of people don't, so I think that's probably one of the reasons why we're here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A, lot, a good number of the locals, actually, I'm very glad to find that there's a good number of locals here that are aware of the GMO situation. Cindy Goldstein of uh, Pioneer tried to give a, a pro-GMO you know, propaganda meeting here at Wailu High School, and the students did not buy it. They asked her good wow. questions, they, they really gave it to oh, her. Oh, she actually uh, came here. Yep, I was proud to hear that. Wow, that's great. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, oh, almost fell over. Okay, I'm going to make my way down to the other side. This is pretty uh, unambiguous. Yes, it's very straightforward. We put the drivers because, you know, they don't have that much time. We right, this is actually them. four drivers. We have some uh, very straightforward signs. Yes, straight Tell us what drivers. brought you down here and what... Well, you think of this whole thing? well, I'm here because, of course, like others, I care about the quality of life and I care about, um, you know, justice. And I don't think that companies should be allowed to own the very, uh, <laughs> own the very things that, that life is all about. You know, be able to uh, genetically modify organisms that, um, that you know, the Lord and nature made for us and have been doing just fine with natural selection over the course of years. I mean, we need to fool around with this stuff. With um, any, there's been very little long-term studies done. In fact, I think no long-term studies. But the short-term studies have been horrible. They showed all kinds of mutations to humans. Um, I think comparing it in rats, you know, small mammals. And um, it can't be good for us. It just can't. There's so little known about what the ramifications will be in the long term. But whatever is known is not very good. This is all being uh, driven by, I guess, you know, power-hungry people who want to be able to control uh, the food. You know, whoever controls food in the future is going to be king. We all see that our uh, populations are growing at a, at a you know, breakneck speed. And 
how will food production keep up? This is a good question, but it's pretty much been shown that we need diversity. We need to really uh, preserve and encourage um, biodiversity and genetically modified engineering and that kind of farming, the monocropping that was being discussed earlier by another gentleman here. Um, it's, it's not helping that cause at all. In fact, it's making us in a very, putting us in a very precarious position for horrible famine in the future and a real collapse of the food system. So it's just bullshit when the companies say, oh, we're going to be in a green revolution, we're going to fix everything. Science so far it really has not fixed much. It's really created a lot of problems because we've used all this uh, you know, kind of tricky stuff that we've dreamed up here by manipulating science in ways that just are not helpful because I think personally we've lost our spiritual grounding, our spiritual grounding and you know because we can do what we do but we don't think well, what is the ramification here? like the Native Americans you know seven generations what's going to happen way down the road what we do now really matters in the future and I think we're being pretty foolish as a, a society as, as, as a whole where we need to slow down and, and ask why are we doing this? I mean, most of us just want to be here to help each other and live a good life. And I, don't, I think this GMO stuff is just getting in the way of that. It's really, really scary and it, it won't help our future generation. Well, thanks for saying that and thanks for coming down and thanks for like these signs that, that, that the people that drive by can, can read quickly. <laughs> Shade contingent that take turns going down there because it's like we've been out in the sun uh, since noon. This is this is like hardcore, you know. Here's David's sign. I I just you, I mean you've got to see this. It's like big, you know. You're on live in the internet. Anything you want to say to people? Uh, we have a small turnout this time, but uh, we happen to be way out in Wai Waialua, so we're hoping more people will get involved. Today is the uh, International Day of uh, Action, I believe, against uh, GMOs and against Monsanto, so that's why I'm out here. Great. Thank you. And this, this is probably the first demo outside their gate, and we're getting a lot of uh, good response people that drive by, a lot of residents, a very heavily either agriculture or residential area. <laughs> That's cool. Let me see the other other side of your sign too is a sign. They were just talking about atrazine. Yeah, did you look it up? Yeah, I did. It's uh, like a herbicide or pesticide, I forget. And it's been... Uh, it's controversial because it's been a causative agent of a lot of genetic uh, mutation among people. Atrazine poisoning of air, land, water by Pioneer, and that's, that's where there, we are. There, we can't get it out, so we as well yell about it now. <laughs> Thanks for coming down with the sign, man. That's like, I think you win the biggest sign. <laughs> so we've been here since uh, since noon. Because the circuit court found that Dupont had engaged had engaged in serious discovery violations. Oh, oh yeah. Small demo, but probably the first in front of the uh, DuPont Pioneer Gate, which leads to 3,000, more than 3,000 acres of uh, GMO fields that are used for growing of uh, seed and also possibly for experimental work. 
There are a lot of questions. One of the questions are, um, where are the chemicals stored? Uh, GMOs are to help the uh, sale of uh, pesticides and herbicides. That's why DuPont, which is a chemical company, napalm, is, napalm. Um, producers of napalm uh, are in the GMO business. They're not a agricultural company. They're not a farm kind of company. They're a chemical company, just like uh, Monsanto is and just like Syngenta is. So, Billy, what, what do you think? What's up? I think this is coming out to be a really good action out here. We're getting a lot of good reaction from people coming by. It's a local community type people. That's what we really want. We want to inform the local people. What's Because these people are working with really, really dangerous chemicals all over the time. And the wind is blowing, as you can see. It blows really nicely. So, a lot of those chemicals can blow just anywhere. We're probably risking our lives in no, the we're, airborne well, well, chemicals. You know, when you do activism, you may come up, especially environmental activism, you may come up against uh, some environmental factors that are actually hazardous to your health. Uh, you just have to live with that as you're doing your actions, because that's why we're here. You know, and so not only we are waking up to it, everybody else out here is waking up to it. Well, I didn't know all that was happening in my neighborhood. My children. What about my kids? That's right. And then, as you can like see, schools, we got schools and all this kind of stuff. We're right in area. front of uh, Wild Little High School, and the, the it, which is in session. In fact, the kids uh, walk by after school let out a little while ago. We've been here since noon. Um, in the sun, we're pretty hardcore, but we're getting some education and recognition from the. Uh, Residents, yeah. Yeah. so that's really cool. Thanks, Billy. That makes it all worth it. Doug. It makes it worth it. So we have people from uh, from Deoccupy. I'm trying to get the flag here. So we got people both from. Uh, it's a coalition of people. Uh, the Occupy Honolulu is here. Uh, Babes Against Biotech. Aubrey Marie is here. The guys, the guys with the bullhorns are definitely the Occupy. <laughs> Who else would have multiple bullhorns with them <laughs> and cameras? Here's Jake here. <laughs> Can't get away. We are, we are the eyes of the people. And I think this is probably the first demo in front of uh, DuPont Pioneer Gate ever. Or another first. So his bullhorn plays fancy tunes. Mine didn't play fancy tunes. So I don't know how much longer we'll be here. I'm going to zoom in on the basic uh, sign here. And then sign off. I just wanted to... Uh, let people know that we're still here because I had broadcast around before one. We're still here, we're still alive. Here's a classic stencil. This will be coming up. The next thing is label GMOs. Next action. I don't know about the next one, but I want to tell everybody to be prepared. September 17th, Occupy Monsanto action against Monsanto in many ways, um, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for joining us, and I'm signing